my mind at this time because sometimes I gotta bring to light even for myself the things that you know I'm responsible for and I posted today on my social media my Instagram Facebook whatever my blog um, a picture of myself that I took on my snapchat filter that had the happy earth day and it just got me thinking about how no person place or thing is ever gonna make you happy but then I think about the reality of that and although it's due to our conditioning we got in our mindsets you see that people things and all these kind of things are responsible or contribute to our happiness you see and that's the thing but that's the thing that also misleads you see like happiness can be something is it not if it's not an energy if it's not a creation that's happening from within me it's me learning the happy things that make me happy you see and sometimes it's things right so it's like another cock block into our life like we got to get our alignment and our thinking right like what is happiness it's like the question I posed to the person I did a reading for this weekend in person I asked I asked him I said what does abundance mean to you and in their attempt to explain to me what it is that they think abundance to be their answers to me were questions to me is it not you know happiness you see is it not success that would bring you know it's not just material things it sounded like a huge question mark to me and I said how is it that you seek this thing that you say abundance in every way but you, you can't seem to identify what abundance even means to you no wonder it doesn't exist for you or you find a blockage to this passageway too so I get into my thinking crew there's a crew going on up here <laughs> I gotta get something clear what does happy mean to me you see and when I say oh happiness is an insider's job what does that even mean like happiness is an insider's job okay but you said no person place or thing can be this happy for me you see but in is a place you see ah you see I see do you see it's an insider's job yes you see but if we're paying attention and lost so much on the external world around us you see because of so many other things that accompany us on these lands we can forget that happy which is found inside it's like a state of mind like how do we get into that line when there's so many things going on on the outside and that's the thing that can be misleading or you know uh, make one you better slow your road buddy anymore shoot share the road <laughs> um, that's the thing you see like if we're so focused on the external environment you see we're not giving ourselves the gift of opportunity to establish these things within ourselves you see our environment you see our home home you see for if we don't devote the time or give ourselves that time to align I call it the Shavasana align like you know 
that state of shavasana where we get to allow the work we put in to somehow infuse within our being we're giving our state of of work that we just created the opportunity to infuse within our muse our ohm our home and we allow this work that has been done to bring into our alignment alignment in whatever way that may be especially with new oxygenated blood flowing through our system you see for it enters into the creeks that may have not had that new flow of blood flowing through your system you're allowing it to infuse within your system so it's the same for when we got happiness in our minds that we want to gain it's this state of dedication to to keeping with our own inner lines and alignments and truths like if you can't answer for you what it is that you need for you or this definition of what you think you want to do you're just saying these words how empty are your words that are looking to be filled and you are the filler of these cups you see that should always be in a constant state of flux and flow we like I'm always pouring I just had to find the balance of the receiving the pouring. I'm always pouring. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, what does happiness mean to you? Let's get into your groove of understanding what this could be for you. Like, even if it's this thing that you think you need. At least understand that for yourself. Please, where does it come from? You know? These things. I just think that when we stop meeting with ourselves or creating things, you know, you don't have to be an artist to create something. We create, we create life. We create movement. You know, in it, in, in, in that in itself is art what it is that you do you don't have to be a painter to be an artist you don't have to be famous to be an artist you don't have to be known to be an artist <laughs> but do you know yourself these are the questions that are going to help for the rhetorical yes you see because I don't care about your answers you need them for you you see not for me I need to know my own I just pose these because, you know, like, I do for myself. I'm just, you know, sharing. Because sharing is scary. As you see. Today is a beautiful day. I shall agree. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> so, I just want to say that, you know, when I think about DNA, as a symbol of a message that I wish to convey to myself, you see. I think about the strands of DNA that crisscross and tie in every single kind of way. Connected and fluid in every single way where although they connect and flow and infuse and they grow and they intertwine and they align, Each line that infuses and loops together, creating the strands of DNA, right, is that each, each strand brings with it 
its contribution, you see. And each strand is the other's, like, polar opposite, you see, in so many ways that, you know, I, if, I, if I'm going to think about it, you see. For one strand represents this set of lands. You know what it did, guys? <laughs> I don't even know where that last recording ended. You know why? Because I wasn't recording. <laughs> no, I have no idea because I'm driving. Where that last recording stopped at. So, I don't even know what was the last thing I said on that last recording because I don't know when it stopped recording. Like, oh, what the fuck? That's what happened. You see what I mean? But anyways, I was talking about these DNA strands of living. When I think about um, this mindset, you see, um, in all my enchanting gypsy um, doodles, you see, because that's what I do. Um, what's helping, too, in my mind's eye, give me some kind of visual and a line is these DNA strands of our times. Like, you know, if I'm gonna look at it symbolically, you see, about what this can possibly even mean just for a person like me to see, to sink in deep, you know, the symbolism and its representation. Like how DNA strands intertwine without getting out of their line, they intertwine and create this strand of a whole that represents duels as we know, polarities as we know, and understanding that the things that like our mindsets in this lifetime have sown, like to know that the battle that most of us face on this planet, you see, is the battle, the fight of feeling or needing or judging or believing that only one of these strands that each represents something else on its polar opposite land that makes up this whole, it's like we have to choose only one or one is right or the other is not or you know all these things you see but yet if we look at these strands of DNA you see you see that each one is intricately cut so beautifully to create this imagery of the balance of everything that exists because everything exists one strand is trying to overpower the other one or be all you know more than the other it just is they're the one and the same even if they're opposite in some kind of way these strands of dna that like intertwine in my mind's eye i understand this concept you see of one strand being the polar opposite of everything else that creates this whole Seeker am I of this whole middle is the land that I go. So in this mind's eye visualization, these strands of DNA that rule this inner nation, I see that I have, I am every strand of DNA that passes through these lands. For I embody every single part. That shit comes from my heart. <laughs> and you don't have to choose. You have to infuse. But you have to learn each side of the divide to understand this hive inside our shrine. 
and ride the middle line. Embodying every strand without any judgment, man. Because in that middle land, there's no one more excess or um, lacking of the other for you're riding the middle there. I don't know. You know me. I be thinking out there. But um, lots of things in store. Lots of things in store. Um, intuitively, I'm picking that up collectively. As you can see that there is a fundamental elevation of energy frequencies and vibrations that are happening on our lands that I am so happy to be a part of man and so that gets me excited in every single kind of way you know this world you know this external lands there's still gonna be a lot of like you know people that need a swift kick up their ass but you know we're all about love man we have no control over that. As long as you don't invade somebody's physical space, like, don't get in my face. <laughs> we okay. You do what you do. You stay rocking it out however you want to vibe. It's either I vibe with you or I don't. But this alignment, you see, that's generating within not only just me, but, like, a whole many of me's that embody a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece of this whole. Well... That is exciting. That is like a huge turn on, guys. Who <laughs> are moments reminded to breathe in deep? Breathe in strength. Exhale strength. Breathe in love. Exhale love. Breathe in peace, exhale peace. Bring in unity, exhale unity. You know? And just know that you are CFO of the energy that you know and you choose to put out there. Like, I like to be out there. In love, for love, with love, in love, I am love. So thank you for tuning in. I don't know how much sense I'm gonna be making in these <laughs> little two updates, this video, and I post it later because I don't know when the other one stopped. And maybe I repeated myself. Maybe I had just stopped and then just noticed it and it just happened. Who knows? But but uh, you know, that's how things go sometimes. So I just want to say thank you. And um, think about your happiness. What does that mean for you? Define it for you. What does happy mean? And if it's an insider's job, how, does that, how do you build the pieces or take the initiative to go in to this space, this place that's yours, that you are controller of in every essence? Even though we say flow, you got to go into your flow. But that goes in with your inner know and the and the effort that you take to go into that kind of place. Because if you don't take the initiative to go in and break down, you know, these barriers of our mind, the fear-based thinking collective hive of a mind, or, you know, just the experiences that we had over time in our life that um, we're only understanding from like a victim space or a place, Let's get into this energy space of understanding your current place, space, now. Our time is always now. You know what I mean? Um, and that's the kind of mindset you have to get into to do your do for you. Nobody else. It's kind of like what I said in my old videos when I said, Mama ain't right, ain't nobody else right. If I'm not good, all hell exists on planet Earth. <laughs> Namaste Have a beautiful everyday Peace